So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 62 of our Portsmouth career mode and the first game of this episode is going to be up against Cardiff but before we do that we will be showing you guys a squad report so as you can see the Axel Werner has now hit an 80 rating which is fantastic news for us as he's gone up plus 4 ratings and don't forget guys this guy we haven't actually put on training this season and he's already gone up plus 4 ratings all of these players even Igor Cardoso has gone up plus 4 and none of them are actually been on training not no, not one of these have been on training. The only players that's been on training this season have been Hugo Azevedo, we've had um, Tito Sifuentes on training, and we've also had um, Cabral we haven't had on training at all. We've had Clever Menezes on training as well. He's gone up by plus 11. He's got some fantastic stats there, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what squad we are going to have next season when we have the likes of E.K. Munain and Javier Manquillo coming in next season on pre-contract deals. So the squad that we are assembling here is absolutely insane. And to be honest, I cannot wait for next season when we get promoted to the Barclays Premier League. I think it's going to be a fantastic adventure for us. And let's see how we can get on in the remaining of this season. As of course, we do have the FA Cup final very, very soon. But having a look at the league table, we're currently 10 points clear with a game in hand. It's pretty much wrapped up. We've already lost three games all season. We've conceded 19 goals. The form we've been in, it's been insane. So this is going to be the squad we are going to be going with in this game. We've got Axel Werner in goal. Obviously, then we've got Velasco, Ahala, Clark and Bennett making up the back line. We've got Menezes sitting just in front of them. Then the front five, we have Lookman, Che Adams, Alex Awobi, Marcus Edwards and Hugo Azevedo. And let's see how we can get on in this game. Decent chance for Cardiff early on and for Axel Werner having to be called into action very early in the game there. And he makes a fantastic save, but they've still got the ball with Sadie. Sadie in number 20 back heels the ball, but Hugo comes back on his defensive duties and manages to get the ball away. But a promising start from Cardiff early on. Cardiff have a decent chance. Hughes on the ball. Plays ball back inside to Mendoza. And his shot goes wide of the post. So if anything, Cardiff looked the much likelier team to score early on in this game. We're still asleep. Good ball inside. Alex Awobi's on the ball. He can't quite control it. And Cardiff once again going on the counter-attack. And they put countering with lots of bodies. But thankfully, Clever Menezes is doing his duty there. Coming back and helping out. But to be honest, we're not playing well. I think it's because we think that the title is pretty much ours already. And we're starting to relax a bit. But Hugo plays the ball inside to Che Adams. Che Adams through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards does well to turn his man. Edwards to try and let fly. But he gets out-muscled. So the ball inside to Hugo here. Hugo's actually doing very well. To cut back inside, he's on his right boot, he goes for goal, and it's a fantastic block from the Cardiff centre back. We've got a chance now from the throw. We're normally quite good from these sort of situations as he play a ball across to Claire Menezes. Menezes through to Marcus Edwards. Edwards out wide to Lookman. Lookman freeding it through to Hugo. Hugo gets there, but the goalkeeper gets there at the same time, makes a fantastic save. So we've got a free kick. Menezes, we're not going. We're going to actually going to give it to Hugo because he has got some really good free kick stats. So let's see if Hugo can hit it, get it up and over the wall. He hits it. He gets it up, or he tries to get it up anyway. It hits the wall. So not the best of free kicks to be honest. Good ball inside though to Cardiff. Cardiff go for goal. And they've beaten Axel Werner at his near post. Axel, you can't be beaten from there. You're an 80-rated goalkeeper, for God's sake. You're supposed to be world-class, which you do do. Don't get me wrong, you make some fantastic saves, but he's got to be saving that, hasn't he? Kyle Bennett gets caught out of place going forward. We actually take out their player, but Axel Werner, come on, man. You can't let that go through there. They've only gone and scored again. We're 2-0 down now, and the, probably the league champions, which we are haven't been crowned yet, but... We get let down. Axel Werner makes a good save. They head the ball back to number 25. He has another good shot. And this time Axel Werner is beaten for a second time in the game. It's a lovely volley. But we cannot allow them that much time and space. He scored 11 goals in the championship. Don't get me wrong. Hugo wins the ball back for us. So in a dangerous position. It comes to Lookman. Lookman plays the ball out wide to Hugo. Hugo takes it around his man. He goes for goal. And that's a fantastic save. So Gomez on the ball here. He actually takes it around his man. A lovely here. Gomez using his... Pace down the right-hand side. Just what goal this could be. Gomez tries to cut back and he just misreads it, to be honest. But with five minutes to go, we're looking for a consolation goal. As you play the ball to Kyle Bennett. Kyle Bennett through to Claude Menezes. Menezes through to Alex Awobi. Awobi through to Amana. Amana turns his man. Goes for goal and he's hit the post. So Amana's on the ball. He's waiting for the run of Gomez. But he squeezes the ball out wide to Alex Awobi. Awobi squeezing the ball through to Amana. Amana does very well. Takes it around his man. Amana goes for goal. And once again, the bloody goalkeeper's making a fantastic save. <laughs> so guys, 
what the league leaders have just done hopefully won't cost them big time because we've just lost at home at Frat. No, we haven't. We've lost away from home, but still, we've lost the game against Cardiff. Very unfortunate. They only pretty much had two shots on target and scored from both of them. It was disappointing that we couldn't at least score a consolation, but Brentford have drawn that game with Middlesbrough. So, is that enough for us to win the league title? There it is, guys. It's been confirmed. Portsmouth have become the EFL Championship winners and that's it. We've been given the title and we also clinched promotion obviously because we've got automatic promotion from winning that game or we're not winning that game but winning the title. What a season we've put together here guys. However, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to sim the next game because it's going to be at home against QPR. And we have a game in just a few days' time against Fulham, I believe it is. I'm not sure who it is anyway. But we've got this game against QPR. We'll go ahead and sim it and win the game by two goals to one. Vargas picking up both goals. And that's a good result for us just to add to our tally for the league season. And are we going to hit 100 points in our third consecutive season? It looks like it could run 98. We just need two points for our remaining two games. So the remaining two games of the championship season, we will go ahead and play. The first one is going to be at home, and it's going to be our last home game at Fratton Park in the championship. So are we going to be given the trophy at home, or are we going to be giving it away against Fulham? I'm not 100% sure, but this is the lineup we're going to be going with. Sifuentes is actually going to be starting the game for the first time in his professional career with Portsmouth. Let's see how we can get on. He scored that cracking goal against Arsenal, which puts through to the final. How about Alex Awobi here? Lovely chance, playing the ball through to Che Adams. Che Adams through to look. Man, oh my god, look, man, you've got to find the back of the net there. You in acres of space. Have a look, man, is charging down the right hand side, but you can see the ball through to Hugo. Hugo does well, cuts back inside with the fakes roll. Fake roll, oh, what a save that is. The Birmingham goalkeeper, a fantastic save. We've got a chance, though, as Hugo whips the ball in the box. It's a good ball. Can Tito win that one? Yeah, he can. He's hit the other side of the crossbar. Comes back to Ohala, but it's going to come back to Tito. Tito's going to strike it again. And this time he scored. <laughs> Tito Sifuentes is an absolute cracker of a player. And this is why we decided to put him in in front of Omar for this game. Omar, I think we probably will end up selling next season. But Tito wins the header. And he nearly put a fantastic header into the roof of the net. But then he turns his man, goes to the strike from range. He's hit the inside of the post Tito Sifuentes what a player we have on our hands here so Amana does very well turns his man plays the ball through to Adamo Lookman Lookman's charging through on goal steps inside plays the ball across to Jose Gomez Gomez ah oh, the ball was nearly inch perfect as he tried to play out wide to Tito Sifuentes but the ball just was quite not perfect Oh, they've given the ball away. It's been given straight to Jose Gomez and I think that could be his first goal in a Portsmouth shirt is that a first goal that Jose Gomez has scored in a Portsmouth shirt? I'm not sure because we brought him in on loan because we were short of strikers and their defender there turns straight into trouble. He gives the ball straight to Jose Gomez and that's a simple finish past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. But I'm waiting to see, is that his first goal? Um, it is. Jose Gomez' first goal, but to be honest, I am actually thinking of trying to bring him in on a permanent deal next season. So I bring him, him in and maybe try and get rid of a sorrow to try and finance it. Have we got the ball with Tito? Tito out wide to Hugo. Hugo's got the chance. Can he make it three? He can. You can bet your bottom dollar that Hugo Azevedo from there. Is going to be fine in the back of the net. And what a strike that is into the bottom corner. Tito, once again, the provider. It's a lovely ball out wide from him. He saw his player in tons of room. And that's why he has faith in the guy that he was going to find in the back of the net. Hugo with a fantastic strike into the bottom corner. And we're 3-0 up. So there we go. That was pretty much the last kick of the game because the referee blows the final whistle and we have wrapped up the result. Obviously, we're not going to be given the title in this episode, in this game, sorry. We will be given it in the next one. But Tito Sifuentes, 9.5 rating, a fantastic match from him and just a inch perfect routine from us. We've done everything right and that's what the champions do. However, guys, it's now time for the third and final game of this episode as we will be taking on Fulham at Craven Cottage. So it's going to be a difficult game for us, but we've got our first team lineup available. We've got Vargas and Moore leading the line and behind them we've got Embat Lota, Missy Roddy and Cardoso in the back line as always. And let's see how we can get on because we will be given the title at the end of this episode. I'm really looking forward to seeing us lift our third consecutive league title in a row. Oh, what about that? Ducore has just scored 
A scorcher from outside the box. That's right. Ducore, our centre back. We give the ball to. We take the short uh, corner. It comes to Team Masso, Missy Rolly. Instead of playing the shot, he decides to give it to Ducore. Ducore strikes it from range. And our centre back has just scored an absolute wonder strike from the outside of the box. Wow. Oh. Oh, 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 dearie me, this guy, I'm telling you now, is insane. There is no way we are going to be looking at getting rid of this guy. Uh, the thing that I was going to think about was selling him, because I thought he's not really doing that much, and now he's just gone ahead and scored an absolute cracker. This is an absolute mile out. He blasts the ball from about 30 yards out. The goalkeeper gets caught off guard, and that is some strike from Emre Moore right into the top-hand corner. He's doubled our lead, and what a way to wrap up the season. Talk about chances. We've got another one, though, with um, Vargas. Vargas cuts back inside. He finds the ball to Emre Moore. Emre Moore out wide to Lotin. Lotin to strike it to try and make it three, but the goalkeeper this time makes the save. Oh, Emre Moore has done it again. He absolutely skins the defender, and Maloney's given away a penalty. What about this from Emre Moore? Lovely piece of skill to fool the defender. He goes one way and then goes the other. The defender cleanly wipes him out, and we've been awarded a penalty. We're not going to give it to Mbappe. We're going to give it to Emre Moore. That's how well he's playing. The only problem is Emre Moore's only got 50 penalties, but it doesn't matter because the goalkeeper saved it. Oh dear. Good ball through to Emre Moore here. Emre Moore's going to try and take on his man, which he does do down the left-hand side. Can he keep that one in play? He can't, but we're actually going to win ourselves a corner. So Emre Moore, once again, doing well, putting everyone under pressure as Mr. Rolly puts the ball in the box. Can we win that one in the air? We can't. He comes back out to do Corey. Do Corey can't do what he previously done, as that shot is more like a centre-back shot. Good ball through to Mbappe Lotin, though. Lotin's going to cut back inside with a step over. He goes for goal, and that's more like it. Mbappe Lotin from the left-hand side, scoring the goal in the 79th minute to make it three so more the provider plays the ball through some lovely step over goes one way then the other falls the defender with the body faint cuts back inside easy finish two goals in the championship have a Tommaso Missy Ronnie's on the ball now Tommaso oh he clearly gets taken out and we get given a free kick so from the free kick we're going to give it to Igor Cardoso Cardoso we're going to let strike from range it's a good strike and the goalkeeper's pulled off a fantastic save so there is the final whistle. Do Corey, Moore and Low Team picking up the goals for us in that match as we come out 3-0 victorious winners. And all the celebrations are, of course, because we are going to be crowned the champions. It's the last game of the season. All the players are celebrating because they know next season they will be playing in the Europa League and they will also be playing in the Barclays Premier League. What a season and so far career we've had as manager because we took them over in League 2. We won the season in League 2 by picking up the trophy, gaining automatic promotion and achieving over 100 points. Then, in Season 2, we done exactly the same. Over 100 points and gaining automatic promotion. Now, in Season 3, in the Championship, we've done it. And there we go. Josh Vela's actually been given the captain's armband for this game because he has been playing quite a few decent games. And I do like him as captain because I think he can be leading the line. He's not going to be playing that many games next season, though as Javier Manquillo will be coming in in the right back spot. But as you see there, all the players are celebrating around. The confetti's flying. The referees are all stayed around for the celebrations. And Axel Werner as well, which I thought was going to be an all right signing for us, but I never thought he'd turn out to be that good. Josh Vela taking the trophy around with us there. And what do you guys think we will do next season? Do you think we will actually win the Barclays Premier League? I very highly doubt it. I don't think we we will, but I don't think we'll get relegated. I think we'll probably be our mid-table and maybe challenging for Europa League, but we definitely won't be challenging for the title and Champions League spots, I don't think. But we've got a good enough squad to do so, so maybe we could in fact put a lot of um, eyes on us because... I think we've got the players to do so. We're playing good football. We've got the players in form. We've got the M. Ray Moores. We've got the low tins. Now banging in the goals. This is what we like to see. We're champions of the championship.
However, guys, that will in fact be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>